You know, we supposed to sit down and do what we talked about earlier. Okay, as soon as this over. Do you see the difference in that sand again? Yeah, this is good. You know, yeah. How did you go get, when did you go get this early? Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. I don't know what that one of mine is going to be. Yeah. 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 You want to go to Chicago this weekend? Yeah, but I said this weekend. No, I have not talked to Jerry. She didn't answer. She ain't got my car. She ain't got my This weekend? No, three weeks. I mean, next week. What day you want to do? This weekend. Yeah, this weekend. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to go. I hope I'm going to do it. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 19 carries, 80 yards. While watching the film, I saw that things clicked pretty well for them in the running game last week. No reason to change it. Continue to try to win the football. Give it to him right now. Why are you going to do that? Why are you going to do that? Why are you going to do that? They are. They are. Haven't looked at it third and ten. 
For what? Oh, try. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And his kick here is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's three to So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard. But it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start again. It has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Play action. It's Lawrence. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there, catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. And that play goes nowhere, taking down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That really sucks. Daddy, oh, Daddy. So at that time, yeah, he but, lost yeah. to the that he had to go. Yeah, I know, baby. You didn't tell me. keeping him clean, meaning no one's getting to the ball. He's able to run to the ball, and the plays he's making, he's spelled him in the offensive back. Yeah, only Jaja and who else? We need to on first down, Lawrence. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Chad up staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. to play fake. Here's Lawrence. And this is caught. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson is second touchdown of the season. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Point after right down the middle. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. This will be fielded inside the five. Oh, a good return up past the 30. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. When you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly Push your cards and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the south. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. She had to keep on that Disney butt. She was watching it on the iPad. Back to throw. Reeves. Able to hit his target. Play pool. The 
nice call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. From the gun, Reeves. And he's got his man on the out route. This nigga, how is this? How is this nigga carving me up? Who is Reeves? Cardinal football here to start corner number two. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. On first and two, and it's Dallas. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44 yard line. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw, Reeves, and that falls to the ground in complete. Be awesome. A nice Boy. job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and nine. He'll dump this off to play to Davids. And of the 49 year old line, but no further. Obviously, he is well short of the first. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10 yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that. It seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were coming out to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look close. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. To throw again on second down, Lawrence. And he's brought down the night before they get it across the 20 yard line. Now Lawrence on first down. And it's a short one there. Completes his tight end. And they get him down, but now the four takes it across the 40 yard line. Gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. Honed in on it and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the front of the line. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They got a nice little drive moving right here. They go play action with Lawrence. And he's got this to Jefferson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to get it inside the 10 of the 7 yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 
This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from. And now we set up first and goal. Yeah, some nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Second down and goal. Lawrence. Flush to his right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up on the three. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. They lived to fight another down, right? Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They go play action now. Lawrence on the move to his left. And Look at this. Man, oh, I hate the computer. I hate playing these niggas. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight than the quarterback would just throw it. It's better to throw it. They go, they throw one to the big guy. But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game to all their teammates. Maybe I should shift over the I've got skills. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for him after they intercepted. Unfortunately, here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They like to avoid playing from their own end zone so they can use something here on third down. Now a handoff for Dobbins. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on the punter away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punter, and the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, is that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown. He's looked pretty good to this point. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. Lawrence. <laughs> Man, they just put, they play every play I call it, y'all. Let me stop these. Let me just go ahead. Throwing to start the drive. Reeves. Wide open receiver complete. The Cardinals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop them with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On first down, Reeves over the middle. That's caught by Claypool and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Cards are going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Claypool with another catch. And some room to work. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say all the way out of bounds. The throw didn't give him a chance to turn it field, and that brings up second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Back to throw again. To the goal line, but it's back right him. Gets him on the surface. Instead, it was a well timed play. The three kids. First half. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast in the beginning of the third quarter. Okay, Coach, okay, thanks coach, as always. Coach, this coach, one's coach, still coach, anyone's coach, game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. Offense set to go. And Charles, they got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? There were three talking points in the halftime. They were pretty loose with the ball. This lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly hoped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. Now a toss left side. Into the hands of his tight end. And finally out of bounds inside the five at the four. A big play there on the catch and run. It's as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads. It is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will push his way forward down about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. He'll try again. Man, he wasn't in there. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. He was blown up. Man, I hate the fucking computer. I swear I do. This defense I hate is these bitches. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. I hate them. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he's in. Touchdown. Away. 
The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuff to animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf, dude. That's bottom shelf material. Working with a second and four. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Another run here with Dobbins. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get a down. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on here to punt it away. The 44-yard punt, they're going to wind up losing yardage on the return, though. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know that makes an adjustment. Got to let him again. Before he's out of bounds. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So oh! He's going to get to his own blitz scheme. Get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which his offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Doing in the game, but why are some of these niggas in the game? And welcome back. We are in the city of Brooklyn, Philadelphia, and that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they say it's incomplete. 
We've seen this course a few times in this game. Offensive line is able to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. 35 yards that time on the punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. And out now come the Eagles. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. On play action, Lawrence. Flushed out right. To the right side, and complete to Jefferson. And he just fell short down at the one-yard line. A big play there for Philly. Oh, I think we all understand his disappointment. Didn't quite get to the end zone, and you know it's just got to be tough to see a yard line underneath you after a play like that. Still, all in all, a huge play, and now they're set up first and goal at the one. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. I doubled it. Come on now. It's a loss of four there, bringing up I like doubled him. I shouldn't have got rid of Jacobs. Him up one yard and brings up third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. And he's going to go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. And that sack brings up fourth and goal, a loss of seven. Big play. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead here to 17 seconds. So that's the last And that importance could not be overstated. All eyes on both sides of were staring that one down both the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. A little joke. Yeah, about 17 6 and still. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Right back to Dobbins. Look first. at this. It's a first down and more for Dobbins. And finally wrestled down at the eight yard line. I hate this. yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five yard penalty. Now that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And they'll try again here, first and goal after the false start. Here's a give to Dobbins. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Operating from the gun. Reeves. And he's got it. A gain of five. And now that leads to a fourth and goal. Completed pass. Brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going forward here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin fourth quarter. You're going. And his kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. 
All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get it at least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. This will be fielded inside the five, and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? Might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball, but here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose, as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that. And that means opening things up again, being a little more free than what they're trying to get done on offense. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. They'll roll him out right. And this is caught. And they can see it. It's a touchdown. Things are rocking easy here in the fourth quarter. They've got to feel pretty good about this one. Actually, they've got to feel excellent. Tough loss in the opener. No way they want to go 0-2. I don't want to read too much into it, but psychologically, is there something much bigger about 0-2 than 0-1? Oh, without a doubt. And here's the biggest one. Guys like you and me, all the media, are going to talk about, well, you know how hard it is to make the playoffs when you start 0-2. And that starts to work, your, work its way through a team. And now they're working towards 1-1. One and, one. and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And as the numbers show, he really wasn't in the mix at the beginning, but they got him in rotation now, and it's proved a good move. And that's what happens when you're a good player. There's a lot more attention drawn to you, and it's obvious that they had him in their game plan on defense, not letting him get off to a good start. But he's found a way so far here in the second half. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, first the ball three, and it's second down. That's taken in by Knox. Now the Cards are going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. To throw on third down, Reeves. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off, and there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. For the sideline, and look at that catch. Point after try, forthcoming. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. And they got the ball in great field position. One play later, in zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 
The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Throwing on first down, Reeves. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. The Eagle's going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to throw. Reeves. Reeves. Throw left side. Take it in by Claypool. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On third down. Reeves. Now a desperation throw. Deep down field. Ball oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. But he sent to Malik. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you play man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the offense will recover, but it won't make much difference here. This will still be a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Lawrence. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing that. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. And that's good. He's caught for the Eagles touchdown. Justin Jefferson there to make the ground. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So Charles, the bad taste oh, is the loss. That's just a memory now. This has been a very strong performance as they score once again. Yeah, I know it's only week two, but you're exactly right because this team fights to let one get away in the opener. And not only were they determined to not let the same thing happen here, they knew that they had to correct a bunch of things. So everything went wrong in game one. They took care of business with it in game two. Now that Eagle offense will stay out there as they'll go for two. They'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. No, what he caught that? I know we can see I he caught that. And dance around yeah, baby. Bit. Didn't I tell you about saying shut up? I need to say shut up. I would say be quiet. The gas prices ain't hot. These are gas prices. They know he did her wrong. Yeah, that's dirty. That really is. Who made that? She wanted to get out there and shout out everybody in the phone, you know, let her. Uh, that's crazy. I remember one time I was on the team. And we were losing late in the game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play. Man, they got my rookie. He just will not cover right now. Executed well before we get out of here, and that was the message to the team. Just something to build. On. Just something to build on. Get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say we'll get better as we go forward. On first and ten, Reeves. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. On first down, Reeves. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 
points and won't do it as a game. One last shot at the end zone. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, it would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't run it in. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. What up, y'all? What's up, man? What's going on? Did you your step on Yeah. Put them on already? Yeah, I put them on. They wasn't hard. I put them on by myself. I had my daughter come out there and, and like, hold it. I just pushed it in while I tightened one screw up. Then tighten the rest. You got the screws for you? No, nah, you know, I, when I looked at it, I had looked under the truck, but the screws was already on there because they was on that other little black piece. So I just okay. took them off uh, and used the screws. He had the screws, though, and put them, put the other ones. I only had a problem with, like, one screw didn't really want to come out. You gotta, make sure, you gotta make sure they're really tight. Did you ratchet the ratchet? Yeah, I had my little uh, power, whatever you call it. So for the Eagles, they at least oh, get the win. Because you gotta. Yeah. It's gotta be torque specs. Yeah, it's torque specs. Yeah, so many pounds, torque, you know? Well, I don't know how, if I did all that, but they tight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they tight. Does it make it look better? I think so. Oh, yeah. I think it look a lot better. I gotta get the tent on there though, but I'll probably do that this weekend. Man, you gotta get a good tent place. Don't cheap out on that. Nah, the one we usually use for the last two, they just two weeks ago they put one on the on my wife ride, just the front. It'd be eighty nine right. bucks. They do a good job though. Huh. Yeah. I'll be at my storage unit tonight putting the battery in my uh, motorcycle. Yeah. And I'll find out what what those lights are. I think they're called Hella, Hella lights. Man, I'm on, I I really want them back. Uh, what you call them lights, man? The what? Them shaded lights. The sh oh. I seen some in that site you sent me. They sweet. But I'm only gonna do the tent. I'm gonna put that on there, and I might put them front lights you talking about on there. After that, I'm done. And I yeah, want, you don't, I want, you don't want to do too much. I saw, yeah. I saw a Jeep that looked really sweet. But those, if you get, uh, I'm trying to get those metal bumpers so I can get a wench in the front of mine. So I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm trying the AEV in Wixom. It's called AEV. Yeah. Wixom. Look it up. It's, it's sweet. And they do all these mods and people buy brand new Jeeps and then they take them in and they take the shit off and they sell the shit for cheaper, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to go there. But, uh, your Jeep is sweet, dude. Yeah, I it's like gonna, it too. It's going to be sweet. It's going to look awesome with those lights. You so, do you got a soft top though? Do I have a soft top? Yeah. Yeah, my soft top is underneath my uh, hard top. So all I have to do is take the hard top off. Uh-huh. And then the soft top is already out there. It's folded back, but yeah. You think I should get but, a soft top? I mean, I think so. You go, you, you go full convertible in two seconds. With the soft top on there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can buy the, you can buy you can buy those on uh, marketplace. Marketplace. You gotta make sure you get, you get the uh, the things. There's like these brackets that go over the doors. Is they, they're like they look like little L-shaped plastic things that go over the driver's side door. The, Why? The, so that the soft top lays on top of it correctly, seals correctly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they sell my marketplace. Uh, yeah. You ain't sick no more. You ain't had that shit, did you? I'm not sick anymore, dude. I just went skateboarding. I'm 
feeling good. You know, I need to lose a lot of weight this summer. Yeah, I'm on that tip too, though. But I, I've been doing good the last four days, but I got to do it. So, like, I, I'm done. I just left Whole Foods, though, but uh, I'm just done, man. I got to get myself together. I ain't no sweets. I ain't ate no breads, no nothing. I'm really just eating fruits and vegetables, man, and meat. So I, I'm, I'm trying to get out on the... I was 240. I want to get out on at least a 215, 210. Holy shit. Yeah, I got to, though. Doctor was like, you tripping. Doctor want to send me to a specialist. I'm 160. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been 160 since fucking ninth, 10th grade. <laughs> but I'm a midget, too, so. Yeah. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. I got to do this little side to have a quick. All right. Hey, I might have one for us, too. All right, cool. All right. I should be able to run behind them niggas regardless of who I got.